Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be going over some cool titling ideas in HitFilm 4 Express. So the first idea I have here is using the displacement effect. As you can see I have a brick wall texture in the background and in this new text it's just a piece of text on a normal layer. If you want to know how to add text just normally in HitFilm click on this video right here. But as you can see what I've done is I've set the blend mode to be overlay so if I turn that off you can see that it is now completely black and I've added a displacement effect. So this is the original text and with the displacement effect you can make it look like it's on another texture. So all you have to do is add the displacement effect and then you can choose the source layer. Then you can set the maximum horizontal displacement and maximum vertical displacement. This way you get the effect that it's actually on the texture. And if you set the blend mode to something like overlay, then it looks like it's sort of imprinted there. You can also duplicate this layer by pressing command D um, to get a stronger effect. Alright guys, so the second idea takes this just a bit further. Here you see I've got this papyrus texture and I've got this writing in a cursive font. I've put on the exact same displacement effects, except I've duplicated the layer three times to make it stand out more, and I've got another layer behind it which is blurred slightly. I've also animated a rectangular mask so that we can gradually show the papyrus uh, ink like it's being written on. If you wanted to do this in even further detail, you could create a pen mask and keyframe the mask to go around certain areas just as it would when you're normally writing. But for me, that's a bit overkill. The third idea I have here uh, incorporates quite a lot of things together, so let's go through that. So the very first thing we see if I hide all these layers is we have a space background. This is just one I got off the internet. Then we have a star travel effect. Um, which can be found on the presets, 3D presets, quick 3D, and you've got your star travel here. It's just a rain effect that's been rotated so that it looks like star travel. Now on the very top here, I've got this text layer. This is just normal text, except I've added two neon glows to give uh, a glow around it, sort of like a lightsaber would. And then to make it sort of 3D, I duplicated this layer, got rid of the neon glow on it, but what I changed in this layer was that I added a zoom blur effect. This way you can create a more 3D look um, without it actually being 3D. And just to uh, emphasize this 3Dness, I duplicated that blur layer quite a bit. If you wanted to make it real 3D, then you can get the add-on pack which allows you to make 3D extrusions. And also, just to top it off, I parented all these layers to a uh, point and animated the scale of the point so that everything came out like so. For the fourth text idea, I did a bit of a universal text. I want to go through a few things I've done here. So if I hide everything, first I've got a black background, which is just an all black background. And then I've got a picture of the earth. As you can see, the picture of the earth doesn't fill the whole screen, so that's why I had the black background. Now, I've got some inline text and some text with some outline to it. The reason for this is that we have two textures, one on the inside and one on the outside. And we'll get to this now. So as we can see, we've got gold texture 446. This is just the golden texture. And we've also got the texture of brushed aluminium. So the first, I did, first thing I did was I applied a set map. So if we hide the gold texture and the outline, then we can see that in the set map effect, we've pretty much made it so that this layer, right, this texture layer is only visible where this inline text layer is. And then from there, we apply a number of effects. So a spherical warp warps it so it looks like the universal text. And I added a brightness and contrast just to match uh, the scene. I also apply a gold texture 
and this gold textures set matte is set to the outline layer and then I've applied the spherical warp to that in the same way. Also, I duplicated this gold texture layer and gave it a bit of blur to make it look 3D. I could also duplicate this layer as many times as I want. And for a final touch, I added a new black plane layer and added the light flare effect um, to create the flare like it's from a star as in the actual Universal logo. And now we have the most complicated of all the titling ideas that I've done for this video. I'm going to start off with the background layer. So if we hide everything here, and in this background layer we get rid of all the effects, we can see what we've got. What we've got here is just a simple texture, and I use the perspective warp effect to make it look like it was a floor. Then I, add two I added two radial gradients, um, because this is where our text will be, although I'll, I'll uh, get to those later. Now we've got a lighting, a lightning plane. So this plane is just a black plane, and it also has that perspective warp effect applied to it. The exact same perspective warp that was applied to this seamless texture. And this way, it looks like it's on the ground. Now I've got this grey layer to make the floor darker and uh, to make it stand out a lot more. In this grey layer, I've simply applied a lot of contrast and I've lowered the brightness down. Now I've got the text layer. This is just a normal text layer, but with a neon glow added. I've also got a, another text layer behind here, and on this text layer, I've applied the, the same perspective warp so that it looks like it's sort of a shadow um, on the floor of the plane. Now I have a black plane with two lightning and electricity effects on it. They're pretty much the same thing except for the fact that one's on the left and the other's on the right of the light. Now I've got a final plane which has two flares on the very corners and I'm also now going to show you the radial gradients um, because this um, really lights up the background like it should in real life if this was all very light. And on the final grey layer, I don't have any grey really, I've got a shake effect, which you can see um, in the final result. This shake effect um, adds a lot of movement to a still image, and uh, for titling it can be very useful, um, because otherwise your titles can look sort of boring without a shake. So you can customise the settings as you wish right here. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will use some of these ideas to your own benefits when you're titling things in HitFilm 4 Express. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.